Gemini. I love you guys so much when you came in last. I'm bummed. But it's right. Thank you so much for any of the likes, subscribes, and shares that you've already done. And if you could get those up, I would really, really appreciate it. And you won't come in last at the end of this um, video making marathon I had today. Um, but I'm glad to get it done. I'm glad to be able to contribute to my YouTube channel because I love it. Um, and also, I want to promote Thursday's um, event that I'm doing. The tickets or the link to tickets are going to be in the description box below. It's for the once virtual venue. Um, I'm really excited about it and it's going to be a summer solstice reading and it's free but you got to get tickets and then we'll send you the link to get in and so you can attend it live um, and I also think it'll be shown on the YouTube channel um, of once so I'll be sharing that too um, so I hope to see you there and I'd really appreciate it um, so I'm just going to get into your reading this is the last of the day it's been a long day of video making um, but I wanted, I didn't want to just leave you guys hanging. It felt unfair, you know? So, all right. Dear Father God, uh, Mother Earth, Higher Self, Spirit Guides and Angels, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing messages in from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this space, so mo it be. Okay. Here we go, guys. What's going on for my gems? Ooh, gem is outrageous. You guys know. You guys are very, very smart. I always have to point out how smart you are. And you need to use your melon right now. Um, oh, happy birthday, by the way. Um, don't let any blockages get in your way. Do any kind of negative energy releasing. Now is, you know, your birthday's still around. You know, you should be celebrating. Don't... And you should be standing your ground. If you feel a certain way about something, fucking stand your ground, Gemini. You know, unless you're racist, go home. <laughs> or homophobic. Or anti-Semitic. Or any of those things, go home. But if you are anti-racism, stand your fucking ground, people. I don't care who they are. You know? <laughs> I hope I don't have any racists watching my channel. <laughs> Alright, anyway... You can trust your intuition, Gemini. You can totally trust your intuition. Um, and if your intuition is saying, like, you know, I got to take care of me, take care of you because you're on point, you know. And if you needed permission to chill, if, if your birthday season isn't permission to chill or, you know, your birthday already passed and people are giving you shit, you need a break. I'm getting that really strongly. You need a break. And you need to take it. So do it. Okay? Um, oof. Whoa. All right, Gemini. I think your person is loaded with anxiety. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was weird. All right. At least it wasn't a bunch of repeat cards for your reading. Because a lot of the cards were coming out the same. Ooh. Ooh. Your person's deep. Father Sky. They do trust in the unknown. And if they don't yet, there's got... All right, I'm getting this randomly and I know it's strange, but something happened, I think, with your person that really solidified their trust in higher spirits. Drop your shields, but it scared your person. And, oh, you might be dealing with a Pisces. I just got mad Pisces vibes, and they got that protection guardian. Your person needs to let you in a little bit more, I think, Gemini. Uh, move in a new direction and surround yourself with protective energy. Interesting. This person needs to learn how to discern who's good for them and who isn't good for them. Because I don't think that um, your person is very good at that, Gemini. Whoa, lady. The lady, both of you are making the right moves. I mean, I do like her at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I'm not willing to fully demonize any of these people quite yet. <laughs> quite yet, she says. I don't try to demonize anybody. But sometimes I do go hard on the crowd. Uh, the crowd. What the what, 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 what? The cross watchers. You know, and so I feel bad. Like it's uh, sometimes. 
but I'm an Aries and I don't hold back in the middle of a reading. And if someone's, and I just like, you know, but I'm not willing to go too hard on this person quite yet. Whoa. Um, you, Gemini, you don't know what to think about your person. And it's almost like you're waiting for them to really step up. I think that you're waiting for your person to like come to you and really step up. And I, I just keep getting that. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't really matter. That's real interesting. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, you want equal give and take. And I think my Geminis have been giving, giving, giving. Yeah. My Geminis have been giving, giving, giving. And I don't think you've been getting very much from your person, to be honest. And I think that needs to end. Yeah, you may need to tell them that, though. Gemini, you may need to break it to your person that you're, you know, you are not there to just, like, serve them or take care of them. That's not, you know. And it might be a little, might feel a little harsh, but it is what it is, you know. Um... How does your person feel about, how does the person feel about Gemini? Ooh, they love you. Your person does have love for you, Gem. But, you know, and so if they really do love you, though, they'll take this message like, you know, ooh, it's going to hurt them. It is going to hurt them that they feel like you're not, you know, it will. But if you feel like you're not being taken care of enough by your partner and you're giving and giving and giving, Either you have to give less or they have to give more. It's going to have to be one or the other. And your person may not like it, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, but they'll do it. I think because they really do love you, Gemini. Ooh, Page of Swords. Online spying on each other? Why? This seems like a solid relationship. Oh, that's interesting. You know what I'm getting? If if I think this is a committed relationship, and I do think that um, maybe people are looking up like how to communicate, how to communicate with your partner, and that would be great, actually. Doing some research on how to improve the relationship between the two of you when you're having specific problems is definitely not a bad thing. So um, that's very specific message. But I do think that this is a Gemini willing to work on this. Yeah, this Gemini wants to heal this relationship. You may have some Aquarius in your chart, but that's definitely someone who wants to heal this relationship ultimately and get what you both need, Page of Pentacles. But I think that Gemini is going to have to offer up a little less in this partnership. This could be work. It could be work, definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Get creative in how you talk to this person, whether it be a committed relationship or a job you actually really like. If any of it is just too much, you need to express yourself, but not in a really harsh way. Okay, express yourself in, but come from a loving place. Yeah, and your person will want to, okay, I think the person is going to want to work with you. And maybe just start from scratch and just be like, okay, I like this fool a lot more than I like some, you know, like the fool from the bastard deck. You know, I like him actually. Um, and I think that, you know, this person, while they're not going to love what you have to say, Gemini, uh, they will absolutely be open to doing things differently. Yep. King of Pentacles, this person is definitely committed to you, the relationship, or your needs. I do see that. I do. This is for, oh, finally, Chariot. Wow, three mages. This one's got, wow, a lot of majors here. One, two, three, four, five majors. There's a lot going on with your person. You don't have nearly as many. But I do think that they're they're changing and they're willing to change. And they're going to move towards um, a way more committed. They, I do think that you two, this, these are two very com creative people too. Um, yeah, have faith, Gemini. This is going to work out for you. Whatever it is. I mean, but yeah, wheel of fortune on both sides, you guys. But you definitely need to express yourself 
to and let them know. Whoa. Whoa. Wheel of Fortune twice. This deck has two Wheel of Fortunes. It has doubles of a couple cards. And you got the Wheel of Fortune t two times in a row. Wow. That's wild. Um, way earlier today, this morning, this came out, but it came out like a couple got it and it was like on both sides. It was pretty cool. But the fact that they flew out to both on your side, I think this does speak to both negative and positive karma. Wow. The twins too. Gemini. Go. Yeah. Hang in there, you know, cause you do, you have a lot of abundance coming in too. Um, Gem, uh, Aries got 10 of pentacles like three times in their reading. It was pretty dope. So if you have any Aries in your chart, definitely check that out. Um, but it's almost like you definitely can take a step back though, Gemini, for a minute and, and think about things. Eight of pentacles. This person needs to do the work. You don't. Okay. Let your partner do the work on themselves. I do, I do see... A Gemini who has done a lot of work on themselves. Three of Cups, eek. Um, they need to work on their commitment. I really, that's a strong one. Like their commitment to your relationship and just you two. I, do, I don't get cheating with that so much, but I do get some third party energy. Like not even necessarily another person though. I'm getting like that they let society get in the way and let them think that being a player is cool and and all that when really like being in a solid loving relationship is what you know three of wands damn yeah definitely third party energy over here but i'm not getting that it's a it's it's human you two definitely both want to be together and you know it's hard relationships are hard i'm getting that this relationship is is a little hard but i'm getting that um, whatever the third thing is, and it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be job, this person's job, it definitely could be this person's job with this, this combination. I think they focus too much on work and they got to leave some of that at the door, you know, um, work life balance needs to be found on your, your person needs more work life balance. That's what I'm getting. And, you know, they can't let the job overtake them. They've got, they have control over their own feelings. It's, I think your person needs to take more control over their emotions. Because you don't have control over your feelings, but you have control over your emotions, okay? So like you can, you know, seriously, you've, ooh, my Geminis are gifted and they can see what has to be done here. And Gemini needs to give a little less and receive a lot more in this. And this person isn't sure how to do that. So you may be, I mean, this isn't going to be an easy change for your person. So try and be patient if you really love them and you really want healing, which is what I'm getting. You know, um, it, it does seem like it's not going to be like, they're more like, well, what can I do? Yeah. And they may show some apathy and Gemini's not going to be happy. So I want you to hang in there, Gemini. I mean, I don't want you to hang into the relationship if... This person is a Dutaruski in the end. You know, they need to not have any indecision or apathy whatsoever with you. That's what's really got to go, Gemini. Okay, that's a big one. Ooh, or you're leaving. Yeah, you're not afraid to go, Gemini, at all. And you may decide to leave in cancer season if this person keeps up with the third party bullshit or you know that kind of stuff because Gemini's not having it yeah justice this person um will get bad karma if they continue to mess with you but I think ultimately you'll get your justice if that makes any sense Gemini um and for some of you this person is going to commit to you fully, I think. And for others, this person is, you're going to leave this person. It really all depends. But justice may come in cancer season. You may have to wait for, you know, once Venus goes out of retrograde, uh, emperor at the bottom of the deck, you might be dealing with an Aries. This is really interesting, guys. 
And, you know, it does look like a personal reading because I'm getting a couple different messages. But for some of you, you're going to end up marrying this person. Or if you're married already, they're going to choose to work on it. For others of you, you may choose to go. Or this person may choose to go. I don't, it's, it's a tough call. But just know that, you know, as long as you're a good person, Gemini, as long as you do everything with good intention and don't hurt anybody, but do it with the intention to just have full self-love and equal give and take. And if that's all you're asking for, that is not too much to ask for. All right, Gemini, I love you so much. And just know that karma is on your side big time. And so regardless of what happens, you're going to be just you're going to be just fine. All right. All right. Love you, Gemini. I'll talk to you later. Bye.